Hi, Pastor. What's up, Thomas? Do you know where fathers store their jokes? No, tell me. In their dad a base. Ah. <laughs> Brother Michael. Hey. Do you want to hear a coronavirus joke? Sure, tell me. You're going to have to wait two weeks to get it. <laughs> Come on, I get it. Okay, that's it, guys. That is the entire schedule for 2020. Yeah, that's oh, right. Finally, right. 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 good, 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 good. Finally. Wow, three hours. That's not bad at all. Yeah, <laughs> quick meeting. Okay, Mark, give us a recap. All right, February we have uh, co-workers retreat next week. Uh, March we have uh, disaster relief training. Mm -hmm. uh, May father and child camping and the mother's tea party. Mm -hmm. March uh, for Jesus comes in May. Uh, June, we got the car show. Yeah. Uh, July yeah. is CMO, uh, mm -hmm. September, Mid-Autumn Festival. Right. October, Prayer and Fasting Day. November, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, December, Christmas Eve. There it is. All right. So, guys, next week we're going to start setting up for the co-workers retreat. And then on our next uh, EMC meeting, we're going to talk about disaster relief training. Is that it? Okay. That good? All right. Sounds All right. good. All right. Sounds, Sounds good. good. All right. So that's it. Um, let's pray. Rita! Thomas! My gardening skills have improved since the quarantine. Oh. I planted myself on the couch and I grew a lot. Oh, get out of here! <laughs> hey, Thomas! Hey, Michael! What's the best way to stop touching your face? How? One donut on each hand. <laughs> get it? No, it's over my head. <laughs> The hardships of coronavirus in the year 2020 has impacted everyone. The consequences of long-term lockdowns are only now becoming clear. Reprogramming of our minds into the new abnormal. Time to get dressed. Kiss, kiss. Most of us have been unaware of these alterations to our psyche. A fixation upon cleanliness that goes beyond the norm. Taking excessive precautions in how we dress to leave our home. But perhaps the most insidious effect is our inability to communicate fluently Hey, you know, I just got a message from the computer repair guy. What did he say? Do you know how much it got cost to fix that laptop? Oh, how much? 500 bucks. Oh, that's so expensive. I know, I know, it's crazy. So we're going to go with the uh, iPad idea, and I'm going to set it up for him. Oh, okay, that I'm sounds gonna, good. I'm going to set it up for him. Okay. Your hands dry now? Yep, dry. Our conversations are becoming more stilted and mundane. New Year Eve dinner. What should we cook? I don't know. Maybe prime rib? Hey, prime rib is a good idea. Uh, but who should make it? Susie, of course. That's right. Susie makes the best prime rib in the world. I think so. But we have to buy some champagne. That's right, it. that's right. Great, great. Good plan. All right, all set. Okay. Talking about food. Charles bread is something, huh? 
Yeah, he's getting better and better. Yeah, he makes very, very delicious bread, right? Yeah, this pan, the inside is very soft. Yeah, so tasty. Yeah, he can be a better chef. There you go. What about the gloves? I will put them on the church. Don't want to be late. Okay, let's go. Are you abnormal? Call us and we will help you to get normal again. Okay? Okay. All communications are recorded. Payment for services by debit or credit card. No warrants or guarantees. For entertainment purposes only. All rights reserved. Hey, Thomas! Yo! Did you hear the coronavirus joke? No, what is it? I tell you, but it might spread. <laughs> hey, Michael. Hey. I haven't spoken to my wife since last Tuesday. Oh, no. Why? I didn't want to interrupt her. Hey guys. Yo. I ran out of toilet paper and had to start using newspaper. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. yeah, times are rough. <laughs>
guys. Merry Christmas. Hey. I want to tell you the Christmas story. Have you heard of the Christmas story? No? Well, I want to read it to you, okay? All right, you ready? You forgot to put your mask on. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot it's 2020 and it's COVID and oh, this mask. How's that? Is that good? No, oh, but no. now, now no. I can't read. Oh, okay, okay, that's better. <laughs> that's better, okay. All right, so I want to read this story to you. It comes from the Gospel of Luke. It says, In the same region there were cowboys out in the field washing their socks by night. No, that's not right. No? That's not right? Well, what is it then? It's different. You're washing your socks. Okay, maybe, Pipa needs, maybe I need to put my glasses on so I can see, huh? Let's see. Oh, that's better. Now I can read it better. Okay. So in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them. Hey, your glasses! What? Uh, yeah, it happens a lot in a COVID world. You keep trying to go to the bathroom. Okay, let's get back to reading now. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them.
thank you for watching our video tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Our goal was to bring a little laughter into your home. Um, I know the jokes are corny and, and it's silly, but just felt like in the year 2020 with the pandemic and all that's going on that just bring a little laughter into your home would be just what the doctor ordered. You know, uh, we've had a hectic year, haven't we? It's, uh, it's been a crazy, crazy year. Um, you remember when, uh, not too long ago, if you walked into a, uh, a bank with a mask on, they would call the police. Now, if you walk in without a mask on, they might call the police. Uh, they certainly would throw you out. What a world uh, we're living in. It's been crazy. Well, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news is 2021 might not be better. Now, I hate to rain on your parade, and uh, but uh, you know that's a that's a fact. It could be it could be better, or it, it could be worse. We just don't know. We're not guaranteed that it it would be any better. But here's the good news. The good news is, is that our joy is not based on our circumstances. Our joy doesn't come from our circumstances. Our joy comes from the Lord. Our joy comes from knowing that God so loved the world that he sent his only son 2,000 years ago, born in a manger. And that's what we celebrate with this Christmas is that the joy of the Lord come into the world. One of my favorite names of Jesus is Emmanuel. God with us. And that's where our joy comes from, is knowing that God is with us. I want to ask you a question. Do you have a, a favorite Christmas? Like it might be um, like a specific place that you and your family go to every year for Christmas. It might be a special trip or something. It might be just every year going to grandma and grandpa's house and all the aunts and uncles and cousins are there and it's just one big family and you enjoy your time together, having a meal, eating dinner around the table, opening gifts and seeing cousins that you haven't seen in a while. Or maybe it's a specific Christmas that, that happened to you in, uh, in years past. I wanna share with you about my favorite Christmas. It was in 1974. You see, my parents were missionaries in Japan, and there were seven of us um, uh, siblings. And my parents couldn't afford to send us all back to the States at one time, and so we had to come in shifts. So my mom came initially uh, with three of the younger kids, and a year and a half later, the four older kids, which I was the youngest of, came back to the States. We had spent 10 years over there. Uh, we arrived in February. And so my favorite Christmas in 1974 was not in December, but it was in February. That's right, I, I said February, because that's when we arrived. See, my mom had not seen us for a year and a half. And my grandmother had not been able to celebrate Christmas with us for over a decade. So they were determined that, that they were going to try to give us the best Christmas that they could. So they picked us up at the airport and we went straight to my grandma's house. We opened the front door in the living room and I wish I could, I wish I could uh, uh, adequately uh, explain to you and uh, just how wonderful a picture it was. You could not see the floor because there were so many gifts. You could barely find a place to walk. And uh, over in the corner was this Christmas tree. And I got to tell I got to be honest, it was pitiful looking. It, it had no green. Uh, it just had some ornaments and some lights. And it just, it was just a dead tree. It was just a bunch of twigs. And uh, it was pitiful. 
But I remember that Christmas tree like it was yesterday. I have such fond memories of that day. Because you see, I can't remember a, a, a single gift. There, there must have been a dozen gifts for each of us kids to open. I can't remember a single gift that I received that day. But I do remember this. I remember the love that I felt. I felt so loved at that moment. And uh, it doesn't mean that the, the, the gifts were cheap or worthless. It, it doesn't mean that at all. It just meant that the, the love that I felt was so overwhelming that it just, the gifts just paled in comparison to that. And, you know, that's the beauty of knowing Jesus, right? Is that we sense his love. And it's not just in December, it's in February. In fact, it's in every month of the year. It's in every week of the month. It's in every day of the week. And it's every hour of the day that we sense that God loves us. And that's what we really celebrate at Christmas, isn't it? Is God with us. Now, some of you, I know, have uh, lost a loved one this year or recently. And the holidays are tough times for you. I can only pray and, and hope that in your sorrow and your tears, that you will experience the joy of knowing the proclamation made by an angel in Luke chapter two. I want to read it to all of you. It says this, and the angel said to them, fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. Joy is not because of our circumstances. Joy is in spite of our circumstances. And that's what Jesus brought to us at the first Christmas, a gift for all mankind. And it's great news. May God bless you and your family this Christmas. And may God also bless you in 2021. But remember that our joy is in knowing Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us.